so welcome back to my channel. Happy Thanksgiving, happy Cyber Weekend. There is a lot going on, okay? The deals are like coming from left, right, and center. I'm definitely feeling the pressure, so I'm sure some of y'all are feeling the pressure to purchase as well. I just wanna say I'm not adding to that pressure, okay? I'm not here to tell you bye, 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 bye. I'm actually gonna be the first person to tell you save your money. If you have big financial goals, just don't go crazy. If you got the money, you got the budget, go right ahead, girl. It's a fun time, right? But I just feel like right now in this recession, you have to be so careful not only about like how much money you're actually spending, but also where where are you spending your coins? Who are the people that you're supporting? Which is why I wanted to do this video because for me personally at least, I it's important for me this season to buy black as much as possible. Okay, statistically, black owned businesses are overlooked. They struggle more because people support them less. So I am here to encourage you that if you are shopping, I got you right now. We're about to get into some amazing black owned brands that you can support this holiday season. You can buy yourself a gift. You can buy other people gifts. I mean, it's lots of good stuff. So let's get into it. Lots of notes on my phone. Lots of things to go through today. So first things first, let's start off with the best, the baddest, Sephora. I am so proud of what Sephora has done over the last couple of years. They have taken the 15% pledge, which means that they have dedicated at least 15% of their shelves to black owned brands. Ever since they took that pledge you definitely saw a surge of black owned brands showing up at Sephora and I love it I love to see it and one of my favorite things that I get really excited about is that a lot of the black owned brands are black female owned brands which ooh, I just love okay special place in my heart so with that being said Sephora has also made it super 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 easy for you to just see black owned stuff you can literally click on brands and then go to another link that is black owned brands and you can see all the goodies there and let me tell you there are a lot okay so I'm gonna link that link below so you guys can check them all out but I will call out a couple of my favorites for hair I absolutely love Adra Beauty their bowel mint shampoo one of my absolute favorites Brio Geo the entire don't despair repair line as well as the curl charisma collection bomb.com I mean the OGs already know how I feel about Brio Geo okay top fave brand right there melanin hair care also absolutely amazing woman owned their African black soap shampoo is bombs.com I even got George hooks on that actually that reminds me I need to go and buy one for him also Sunday to Sunday great brand especially if you are active like me oh my god I'm an active girly now <laughs> but if you work out consistently they have great products also for protective styles lots of great products for the scalp to refresh your scalp just have your hair feeling and smelling nice in between your workouts and then of course for like makeup skin we have Fenty Beauty and Fenty Skin I mean need I say more <laughs> I have on the gloss bomb right now so good uh, Danessa Myricks I also have on her beauty bomb okay if you are gonna buy something top of the list right there this uh, beauty bomb what's it called what's the full name the full name is blurring bomb powder so it's like a bomb like a cream but then like as you rub it into your skin it like finishes like a powder it is beautiful i love to use it as a primer they do have different shades so it kind of like evens out your skin tone and it smooths out your skin it's beautiful okay i like literally this is the only primer i use now period another black owned makeup brand lys beauty love their bronzers and blushes so good i think she's actually launched a couple more things as well and the thing i like about it is lys i used to think it was list because i just got excited i was like oh my god there's a brand that's like the same name as me but it actually stands for love yourself so that's kind of the essence behind the entire brand and i love that so something that you can feel really really great about supporting and the products bombs.com they're actually clean black owned makeup products we love and then for skincare i definitely very strongly suggest rose ingleton md she is a jamaican dermatologist okay and it's so crazy because i found out that she was my family through working through sephora squad which is crazy because i was like oh okay this brand wants to work with me and then oh my god she's like we're family isn't that crazy and y'all please don't think i'm biased but her products are amazing absolutely amazing Derm she's a dermatologist so everything is made right it's got all the amazing ingredients for your skin she has jamaican like super fruit ingredients in there as well which i absolutely love my personal favorite is the brightening uh cleanser mm, so good because it's not drying but is nice and brightening so it will help to get your skin like nice and even and everything and just help to maintain a beautiful even 
glowy, healthy skin. Oh my gosh, I could talk about their products all day, so check them out. Hyper Skin, also amazing. I love their, what is it? It's called, I think it's their Vitamin C Serum. I actually use it every morning when I'm getting ready for the gym. That's what I put on my skin. I use their Vitamin C and then a little bit of moisturizer. It's meant to be really, really good for dark spots, which is why I love to reach for that every single day to keep this skin looking good. And then last but not least, Forever Mood, of course, is a forever mood. Over here we stand for Jackie Aina. I absolutely love her. She's a huge inspiration for me and her products are the bomb.com, the candles, amazing. So that's some black owned fragrance that you can check out as well. These are not all the black owned brands. If we talked about all the black owned brands at Sephora, I will be here for a while. Those are just a couple of my favorites. There are other ones that I haven't mentioned that I do love as well, but again, we'd be here all day. So I've gone ahead and linked to where you can access all the black owned brands at Sephora and shop very nicely and easily. All right, so moving right along, let's talk about some hair products and accessories that aren't at Sephora. All the rest of these brands actually that I talk about in all these categories, you will typically be able to find at like your Target, your Walmart, your CVS, or even Amazon. First, we got to talk about Curls and Camille Rose. Those are two separate brands, but their hair products have been staples in my natural hair uh, regimen ever since the very beginning of my natural hair journey. We're talking five years ago. The products are so good, and one of my favorite things, especially about Camille Rose, is their ingredients. You can literally feel the difference when you use their products. Their ingredients are more natural, and they are just so good for your hair. There's no nonsense. There's no BS in their products. It's just so, so good. More recently, I've absolutely been loving their Honey Spiked Mousse. You guys saw me use that in my volume wash and go video. I also have been a long time fan of Curl Maker. It's literally a product that I absolutely cannot live without. I use it to slick. I use it to pair with some products to get a little extra hold and shine. Like it's just so good. I have also met the founder of Curls, Mahisha. She is absolutely amazing. So cool. She also puts a lot of thought and energy behind the actual ingredients that she uses. My absolute favorite uh, collection from Curls to this day is their blueberry collection. That entire collection is bomb. In particular, the leave-in conditioner and the reparative deep conditioner amazing. Curl Mix is another brand. Y'all have seen me review their stuff on here as well. Love their stuff. Also more natural. And that's kind of a theme actually that I noticed with black owned hair care brands. They are very, very into the ingredients that they're using in their products. And that's a testament to the women who are standing behind these brands because they have the same curly natural hair that their consumers have. So they know how important it is for our hair to be nice and happy and healthy. And they kind of like infuse that into their brand and ensure that their products are packed with amazing ingredients in case you needed another reason to shop black. There you go. Kinky Curly is another great brand for you guys to support. My mom is a ride or die Kinky Curly girl, okay? Their Kinky Curly gel is so good. It's a little heavy for me for where I'm at right now. I feel like it weighed my curls down a little bit, but the hold, the curl definition is bomb.com. So I find that this gel is the absolute best for more curly, like super, super curly, coily, kinky textures. Your curls will last until whenever you're ready to wash them again. That's one thing about that gel, okay? And of course we gotta talk about the Dew, my favorite. I literally talk about the Dew in every single video now <laughs> because their mousse def mousse is so, it's just good. It's still the top dog, top notch mousse, my absolute absolute top favorite of all time. They actually have a ton of other products. I've never used any of their shampoos or conditioners, so that might be something on my list of next to try. Although I need to get through this tower of products that I already have here first. <laughs> Moving right along to beauty now. Let's talk about some black owned makeup brands. First things first, the first brand that comes to mind is always Beauty Bakery. I love their brand so much. Kind of from a nerdy standpoint, I think the marketing and the messaging behind it that it's like, I just think it's genius. It's so cute. It's so good. Like Beauty Bakery. It's literally a bakery bakery of beauty items. So all their packaging, like their, go on the site. If you don't know the brand, go on the site right now and you'll see exactly what I'm talking about. But like, for example, their beauty blenders come in like a little egg carton. So it looks like eggs because it's from a bakery. 
I love it. The marketing is bomb. I just think that's so cute. Their products are also absolutely amazing. My first product from them that I actually ever used was their matte liquid lipsticks. The colors are also absolutely amazing. So like complimentary to melanated skin tones, which we love. I looked at their website the other day and they are having a massive sale site wide. I believe it's 40% off everything on the site. So if there is gonna be a time, go check them out. I do love their beauty sponges as well. I think I'm actually gonna restock myself on some of their stuff. Also the lip bar. I love Melissa. I think her story is absolutely amazing. I love the way she runs her brand. I love who she is as a person. I have met her in person before. She's dope. The thing I love about her brand actually is it's not necessarily your glam brand. It's literally your everyday girl brand who needs to get makeup on that's like quick and simple and easy to do. So if you're that girl who does not need all the complicated 500 steps and you can, you know, get your put together look real quick and easy and simple, that is gonna be the brand for you to check out. Mented is also a really great brand. Their lipsticks, I remember years ago, I went online and bought like all of them because they were the ones who like came out with the brown girl nudes. And I love them for that. I think it's absolutely amazing. Since then they have expanded their line a lot more as well. Now this is going to be for the glam girl. Juvia's Place. Their eyeshadow palettes, I am so addicted to buying them, but I never use them just because I'm not an eyeshadow girl. I like to think that I am. And when I see them online, I like to pretend that I am. And then I buy them and they sit here because I'm not an eyeshadow girl, but they're so beautiful. So if you're a glam girl, right there. All of their products have really good pigment. Actually, I also really love their blush. This is one of their blushes called Serafina. Look at this. Look at this. All right, and then last but not least, I need to put y'all on to Range Beauty. If you are very much into clean makeup, clean ingredients, you're gonna absolutely love Range Beauty. Their complexion products specifically are some of my personal favorites they had gifted me years ago. And when I tell you I was blown away by their foundation, it is so good. It's beautiful to wear and again, very clean ingredients so you can feel good about using their products on a consistent basis. I know there are probably a ton of other black owned beauty brands that I'm forgetting right now, but these are the ones that are just kind of top of mind to me. If you have any additional ones that y'all need to put me on, please put them in the comment for any category, really any black owned brand that we need to know about. Let's create this space of like black owned everything in the video and in the comments. I would love to see it. Moving right along to body care and skincare. My main body care brand that I really would suggest for y'all is actually Keys Soul Care. This is Alicia Keys' brand. And I know celebrity, uh, cele celebrity lines in general are becoming a little bit like, ugh, another one, you know what I mean? And I did kind of feel like that about it, but when they sent me this stuff and I tried it, y'all, mind blown. Their body products and skincare products are so, so good. And I just, it's very Alicia Keys. It's very like wellness centered on every bottle. There's a little affirmation for you to read. Personal favorites of mine, the body cream, the golden cleanser for your face. Mm, so good. Also the body scrub. Oh my gosh. So both their body care and skincare we love. Now another black owned skincare brand that I want to put y'all onto is Mele Skincare. M-E-L-E. -E. This is a dermatologist developed brand specifically for our melanated skin honey. And I love their products. So I'm always nervous in general when I'm trying new skincare brands. But with Mele, not only did I not break out, but my skin. She's flourishing, honey. But their hydrating cleanser, a staple for me, actually. So their hydrating cleanser and then the Rose Ingleton MD brightening cleanser, I actually go back and forth between the two and I rotate them. So one day I'll use the hydrating and then the next day I'll use the brightening and I have just a good balance of brightening and moisturizing for my skin and I love them. I also love the fact that they're black owned. So every time that I'm using it, I'm just like, oh, this is great. <laughs> Move right along to clothes and accessories now. First on the list is grind like a doll. Um, so your girl is really an active girl now. So I went out and decided, hey, let me try some workout clothes from a black owned brand. And I'm so glad that I did because they are beautiful. I did an entire mini try on haul on TikTok. Their workout clothes are so, so good. I'm a little picky when it comes to the material for workout clothes. Ryan Like a Doll is amazing. I love their material. It's super soft, but it's nice and compressive. The material is not like 
thick, but it's like not too thin. It's like the perfect kind of weight actually in my opinion. It gives like some nice compression so you feel like you're kind of held together and you're just looking tight and right while you're working out in the gym. It's so good. Now for regular clothes, what I'm wearing today is Lily's Closet. I always, always get so many compliments whenever I wear items from Lily's Closet. I love their store. I find that their clothes are a little bit more unique. Like you're not gonna see the same typical things that you see at like your Zara and your H&M. Like it's stuff that's a little bit different. I also like the fact that she does lots of colorful pieces. This is a crop top from there that I absolutely love and it came with a matching skirt. So it's like a skirt set vibe. Oh my gosh, so, so cute. I think their clothes would just make a really good gift for yourself, gift for somebody else, or even like if you're looking for an outfit for the holiday season, they got you covered. Okay, another great brand, similar to Lily's Closet for like everyday fashion wear that's not gonna break the bank, actually. I forgot to mention that. These are nice clothes, but they're not like super designer, like gonna break the bank type clothes like Hanifa. Uh, love those brands, but I really wanted to kind of focus on things that are a little bit more affordable and places that I genuinely shop on a regular basis without breaking the bank. So Lily's Closet and then also we need to talk about Nicole Linnell. Her clothes are so cute. Again, it's giving like trendy it girl. I feel like both of these brands actually are very curvy girl friendly as well. Their pieces again are just kind of unique, like one of a kind. It's not like your basic average kind of things on there. We can't talk about clothes and stuff without also talking about accessories. Handbags, sunglasses, the fun things. I'm smiling because these are my guilty pleasures. Of course, Brandon Blackwood, my guy. I oh, oh, I love his bags. And also Cease. Both brands are dedicated to high quality, like really nice, like luxury handbags that aren't like, we're not talking about like uh, Louis Vuitton luxury. We're talking about less than Tory Burch luxury range, but still luxury, still beautiful. And it's also deeper than that. I know for example, the C store has their protect black women bags, which I have been eyeing for the longest time. And it might be about time for me to give myself one. And Brandon Blackwood, they have their end systemic racism bags as well. And it literally has it written out on the bag. And then whenever you purchase a bag, money goes towards uh, foundations and charities that help support that cause. So I love that. It's like fashion with a cause. And when it comes to spending your coins carefully, these are two really great brands that you can support and feel really good about supporting. And back to sunglasses, my girl Diara launched Lorve and it has been the best thing ever. The best thing ever. If you have not gotten yourself a pair of Lorve sunnies yet, it might be about time. I don't know. Her sunglasses are so good and to just see her style, her own personal style which is so dope and so like eccentric and different and bold and sexy and it girl and trendy like to see that reflected in the sunglasses that she's offering and designing for us to feel bold and sexy like trendy it girls too I am here for it I love it so much 12 out of 10 recommend now another guilty pleasure of mine is jewelry I love me fine jewelry though like I'm, I'm a simple kind of girl typically but like earrings specifically i have like my little piercings here and everything so i love me a good set of earrings so recently i was like hey maybe i should try to check out some black owned jewelry brands and i came across oma the label who yes is also having deals literally almost every brand that i've mentioned if not all of them are all having sales right now. So we love that, but Oma is great. They have a really nice range of good quality gold plated jewelry pieces that are not gonna break the bank as well. Like they do have a couple like bigger, thicker statement pieces that you can tell are worth a lot more and they, they go for a lot more. But to me, nothing is overpriced on their website, which I like. And then you also still have your selection of like the smaller rings and stuff. Like you can get really nice, good quality $50 rings, 50 to $75 earrings. So it's a good range and I also love their designs. Their designs are so unique. I love it. I did also come across another black owned jewelry brand called Stella and House. Stella and Haas? I don't know exactly how to say it. Again, just really great quality products are on their site as well. Woo! Okay, so we have gone through a lot. I really wanted to kind of close out this video by talking about a couple of smaller black owned brands that you can support as well for more like lifestyle things. So there's this guy that I came across when I was looking for Afro art. I mean like art of like our afros and I came across this artist called the creative one and his pieces are amazing I've been eyeing them for a really long time. It's just so cool. So unique. It's lots of big hair 
thick bodies and I love it. I love it. So if you're interested in kind of filling your home with more of that kind of vibe, definitely check his stuff out. I also wanted to shout out my girl Sierra. If you are into press on nails, her nails are very, very good quality. You can hit her up. She'll do custom designs. Like if you go on Pinterest, find a design, she will make that for you. She can make them custom sizes specifically to your fingers. Her press ons are bombs.com and now the first time i tried them was my first time trying press-ons ever i have recently have received some in the mail from other brands that just do not live up to the quality of her nails a lot of press-on nails out there are super flimsy and it's just not good quality you want press-ons at least i personally do whenever i do use them i want press-ons that are gonna last me a while right now you guys may have noticed my nubs i'm so sad but i am giving myself a much needed break from a I have literally been wearing acrylics since 2020 non-stop and I just feel like right now is a great time for me to just let my nails breathe but at the same time I still want to be looking cute for whenever I need to because it is holiday season I'm actually getting ready to hit her up soon for some like a new fresh set like probably a couple probably do like a New Year's Eve set a holiday set and then like an everyday set so I have three sets that I can use for the next like couple of months last but not least are y'all still shopping on Etsy I love Etsy for unique items, things that are different, again, different from like the mainstream things that you're gonna find at your Target or Amazon, whatever. Etsy got the unique things. And what's really great about Etsy right now is that it's also very easy, very similar to Sephora, to shop black owned specific brands on their website as well. So I'm gonna provide that special link for you guys in the description box below, but literally like you can just scroll and it's just all this stuff is black owned and you can feel really good about supporting these brands, not only just because they're black owned, but supporting a small business in general is, is like, it's so different from just buying from Target, right? Like your one purchase, even if it's just one, a lip balm or something, like one little purchase, could brighten their entire day, change somebody's life. So that's another reason why I love to shop on Etsy every once in a while. But yeah guys, that's basically it. This holiday season, I am wishing you lots of light and love. I'm gonna be coming through with 12 Days of Listmas. I'm hoping that will fill you with lots of love and light as well. Thank you so much for watching. If you are new here and you made it to the end, I love you. Just go ahead and hit that subscribe button so you never miss a new video ever again. I will catch y'all next week for the next video. Bye! Thank you.